In this video, we'll create a 3D model of a cylinder and export it as a 3D printable STL file. Open Google Chrome browser. Go to scribble3d.com. In the website, click on Open 3D Editor button. Click on Create tab. To create objects in Scribble 3D, the input has to be in a scalable vector graphics SVG format. We'll now create an SVG file and upload it to generate a 3D object. The recommended software to create SVG files is Inkscape. Inkscape is free and open source software and you can download it from its official website. Inkscape is available for all major OS platforms. Download the relevant binary and install in your machine. After installing, open Inkscape. We'll now draw a diagram to create a 3D cylinder. Click on the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Adjust the dimensions of the circle as required. This circle represents the cross-section of the cylinder. We call this cross-section as the slice path. Draw a vertical line that represents the path of extrusion of the slice. We call this vertical line as the spine path. Then draw a rough shape that encloses the spine path. We call this enclosing shape as the spine range. To associate the spine range with the slice, draw a line that intersects them both. To indicate that the vertical line is the spine path, change its stroke color to blue. Now save the SVG file. Back to the scribble3d.com website, upload the newly created SVG file. We can now see the preview of the file contents. The message converted to 3D indicates valid input. Click Next to continue. In the left side we see the SVG file contents, which we call as a spine diagram. In the center, we see the 3D geometry created using the spine diagram. We can change the name or other properties of the object if desired. We can control the resolution of the object by changing its number of segments. Adjusting the number of boundary points along the slice will also change the object's resolution. Increase or decrease the length of the object. The thickness of the object can also be adjusted. Toggle visibility of the 3D grid. View the wireframe of the 3D model. 
or go back to Shaded View. To download a screenshot of the 3D model, click on the camera icon. This downloaded image is in PNG file format. Clicking the STL icon downloads the object in STL format. The downloaded STL file can then be opened in other 3D model viewers like MeshLab. This is the downloaded STL file opened in MeshLab. To save the file permanently, click on Save in 3D Format button. To open the saved file, Go to My Objects tab. The file is saved under Sandbox Workspace. This is the file we just saved. It is recommended that users log in and save their files in separate workspaces. Click the file to open it under Assemble tab. To navigate in 3D workspace, left-click and drag to dolly the camera. Right-click and drag to pan the camera. Mouse wheel up or down to zoom in or out. Click on the object to select it. To move the object, select the translate mode icon and drag the arrows. Click the Rotate Mode icon to enable rotation about the X, Y or Z axes. The object can also be scaled, like so. The same effect can be achieved by changing the attributes in the Properties box of the object. The transformed object can be downloaded as an STL file. To deselect, click on the icon or press Escape key. There are icons for choosing wireframe and shaded views. Alternatively, the drop-down menu can be used. The OBJ icon exports the selected object in .obj format. This is the exported OBJ file opened in MeshLab. The length, width and height of the object are listed here. To increase resolution of the object, increase the values for segments and bound points. Export this higher resolution object in STL format. Opening the exported file in MeshLab reveals its higher resolution. This .stl file can now be used in a 3D printer to 3D print this cylindrical shape.